It's a little quiet down here, don't you think? There's something missing. Ships. That's what's missing, ships. So if you've been driving over the uh, Skyway over in St. Catharines, you may have noticed something on the QEW out in the distance, or if you've been driving past the QEW uh, just before Jordan, where you get to look over Lake Ontario, you would have seen a large number of ships, like a flotilla uh, of ships, uh, 14, 15 of them just anchored off there, going nowhere. And there's a reason why, because the same is happening down here in Port Coburn. And that's because the uh, Lawrence Seaway uh, canal operators uh, are on strike. They've been on strike since the 21st of October, and it's brought the uh, Great Lakes shipping to a complete standstill in this part of the world. Uh, this is the Welling Canal right, be uh, right beside me here. On an average season, there's over 3,000 ships that move between this water backwards and forwards during each season. So that's a lot of vessels. But right now we have like dozens of vessels just moored up all over Lake Ontario and Lake Erie at various points, just taking shelter and waiting for the next uh, time they can come through the canal to deliver their goods or pick up their goods and, and so on. And some of these vessels will also include salties. Uh, salties are mainly the ones that go internationally, which leave the, uh, uh, the Great Lakes here, go through uh, Montreal and out the seaway and on to the Atlantic Ocean, uh, to many places like that. So these people, if they don't get the canals open soon, are gonna be stranded here for a long time. Winter is also quickly closing in on us as well. So what I want to do today is actually take the sea dew out because it is it's quite mild. Uh, I'm going to take the sea dew out and take a camera with me and ride around some of these uh, ships that are moored off here at, um, at Port Coburn. So uh, join me. My name is Nigel, I'm also known as a Lake Area Vlogger. And today I'm going to take you out to see some big ships. Somewhere way out there. And that's where we're going to go. The strike has shut down all shipping on the St. Lawrence Seaway, interrupting the exports of grain and other goods from Canada and the United States to the rest of the world. The strike has shut down 13 locks between Lake Erie and Montreal, bottling up the ships of the Great Lakes and preventing more ships from coming in. And this is the first time that a strike has shut down the vital shipping artery since 1968. Close to 3,000 ships uh, come uh, through the Welling Canal and they transport around 40 million tons, which is 88 billion pounds worth of cargo every year. So this strike right now is a major headache for many, many people, not just here in North America, but also around the world. All right, here we go, out on Lake Erie. Well, just leaving Port Coburn right now. And we're gonna head out there. I've seen quite a few ships, so we're gonna head out there, see what we can do, ride around a few of them, get the drone up if we can if it's not too windy and get some nice footage and uh, get a description of each ship that's here and see where it's going and stuff like that. So uh, let's head on out onto Lake Erie. Okay, the temperature is uh, 12 degrees, but it's a very strong uh, northerly wind, which is keeping the temperatures a little cool. So that's why I'm bundled up like this. So uh, yeah, let's head on out. Right, the ships are getting closer, but at the same time, the waves are getting bigger. So I kind of like fighting a bit of a battle here. Let's see what I can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I can see twelve. I'll check on radar in a minute in case I'm missing something. But I got twelve, so I'm going to go right in the middle of them all here. Uh, there's definitely a couple of salties out there. I'm getting drenched. Alright, the first one I'm cut up against. A Laker. Algoma Discovery. i got to watch out in case there's a rogue wave, because some of these waves are pretty big. here they've got nowhere to go um, this one looks like it's pretty loaded it doesn't look that high out of the water a couple of guys over there they're actually fishing 
How's it going? <laughs> Passing time? Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been here for? A week and a half. Uh, About a week? Oh. Uh, well, hope you don't get too bored and enjoy the fishing. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Let's go and check out one of the other ones over here. Now, here's a ship I recognised from back in August when I was in Hamilton. Uh, Joanna G. Uh, Madeira, I want to guess. Someone, somebody tells me it's Portuguese. We'll find out when I get to the back of it. But she's anchored up here. She looks empty. She's very high um, on the water here. So I presume she's empty. She's uh, going to load somewhere. She's dropped her cargo off anyway. Spectacular sight. Madeira, I named it Portuguese. I knew it's Portuguese. It's cool. All right, we'll uh, head out to the uh, the big one out here, the yellow one. Now, I'm virtually right in the middle of the lake. There's also a Polish one out here, Pol Stars out there. Uh, this is big lift, I believe. So we'll do big lift, then we'll cross back into the other one there and end up at CSL and make our way back in. So this is for all you ship junkies out there. Hope you enjoy. to the big yellow one now and this one's fully loaded with shipping containers uh, happy river big lid i want to say this is dutch i could be completely wrong i don't know why i think dutch <laughs> there you go, let's have a look With that sun shining on it, that yellow looks really, really nice. But once again, just stuck out here, nowhere to go. There's a whole load of cargo on there, which has got to get to destinations. God knows what's in it. It, it, it could be, I don't know, consumer products. It could be, I don't think it's food, uh, but I could, I, it could be. I do know they move a lot of uh, fruit and veg around from here as well. But uh, I mean, it could be uh, stuff like, I don't know, everyday stuff you see in your supermarkets. It's amazing, what a skinny crew area, that's super skinny. I'm afraid of that snapping off. A moment of truth, where's she registered? Oh, I need to dig ahead. Amsterdam, I thought it was Dutch. I remember seeing this coming through uh, the Welland Canal a few years back and it had other stuff on it. Look at that. Hard to believe it's quite good. It could be snowing next week, but I'm out here on the water still, enjoying myself. Oh. Gee, the waves are much bigger going back this way now. It's like five or six foot swells. So over there, I said Polestar, it's Polsteam. I believe it's Polish. That's the one over there. So, uh, yeah, the, these guys are all anchored up and they've got nowhere to go right now. Look at these chops. <laughs> that got me. All right. Let's make our way over to the other one over there. As you can tell, I'm drenched.
bridge something else. That's a really cool looking bridge. Well, I never, it's French, Quebec. I would never have expected that. I really... How's it going? Are you bored? Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. How long have you been here? Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> wow. Well, are you based in Quebec? Yeah. yeah. Well, enjoy. You stay on Lake Erie. <laughs> <laughs> the guy on the other ship, he's fishing. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, good fish here, good fish. Uh, pickerel, uh, mainly pickerel and bass. Yeah, big ones. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, enjoy yourself. <laughs> They're all just passing. I don't even have a bottle of water or a bottle of booze. It was blue, but out of way. Nice chap. Uh, CSL, let's head to that one. I don't want to go further out because it is really choppy out there. Right, I imagine there's not so much of an urgency uh, right now here on Lake Erie and also Lake Ontario getting onto the Welling Canal you think about it, a lot of these ships will have to make their way through uh, Montreal through the seaway up there through the locks and get it onto the Atlantic Ocean and to their destinations and if they stay here too long they're going to start, if this strike keeps going on we're going to get into that situation where the bad weather's going to come and the lakes and the canalways will start freezing which is just going to cause even more trouble uh, as of right now uh, everyone seems happy out here but I'm sure there's a lot of frustration um, a lot of these people are out for three to six months at a time no doubt and uh, but being delayed with all the goods or being delayed getting somewhere to pick up the goods is not a good thing uh, for anyone so anyway let's carry on looking around uh, on to my next one uh, Oakland CSL Oakland <laughs> Living my sea do life. Cheers. All right, while we're in Port Coburn, let's take a look at the uh, scrap, uh, the scrap car. See what's going on. Since I was here last time, we've got the new uh, ships here. Let's have a look. Oh, I'll take that off again. It's always sad to see when you're this close to them all being scrapped. Another historic vessel just here for the scrapyard. It's a cool shot, look at this. Right in with the, uh, the side uh, thrusters. Wow. 
the size of that thing. So yeah, actually, it's not even on, I'm leaning into the water to get that shot. So that is it folks, uh, <laughs> that was a quick tour of uh, Lake Erie where the ships are all stranded out there because the Lawrence Seaway is completely shut down for a, for a strike uh, which is now what, into its ninth day and there seems to be no end in sight just yet Anyway, I wish all those uh, um, personnel out there on the water uh, safest of times and hopefully they can pass the time away and before too long they'll be on their merry way again and for those striking workers I hope, get, I hope you get what you need and what you want um, yeah, keep at it guys. Anyway, that is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going for a quick spin down here uh, into Port Coburn and I'm heading home.